Welcome to Smart Materials tutorial on the CL50 module. The CL50 is also called the Smart Conditioner and is an energy harvester conditioner specifically designed for the MFC P2 type products. It is the first of a line of conditioner products designed to match the impedance, output voltage range, and harvested energy of the MFC P2 type family for best compromise between size and efficiency. The CL50 is a relatively small module designed to be both efficient and mobile. Its length is 47 mm, it is 22 mm wide, and 5 mm deep. Now on to its specifications. Its input voltage is maximum 10 volts AC. Output voltage maximum is 3.3 volts DC stabilized. Maximum output current is 40 milliamps and wattage out maximum is between 0.5 and 2 millijoules. Take a look at the graphic representing the connections between the CL50, here called the energy harvesting module, and the MFC 8528P2 and the user. Two plugs go on either side of the CL50 module. These will be 2.54 mm pitch AMP connectors. The CL50 is used to power any electronics that take 3.3 volt, such as microprocessors and microcontrollers. The MFC produces a charge proportional to strain. The energy can then be collected. The CL50 acts as an interface. It can extract the electric charge generated by a PZT vibration harvester like an MFC and converts it into DC voltage. Make sure the material you bond to the MFC is sturdy and has a similar stiffness as the MFC and allows for the MFC to be strained properly. Some suggestions are steel, glass fiber composite, and carbon fiber composite. Follow the bonding instructions on the FAQ section of our website. Also, make sure enough strain is coupled into the MFC. Strain should be at least 100 parts per million. Here we have a complete setup of the energy harvesting kit using the CL50. To the left is the shaker mounted by the MFC and cantilever, in the middle the oscilloscope, and to the right the amplifier. Make sure you have attached the MFC to the MFC in on the back of the CL50 module and make sure also you have the red cable attached to the oscilloscope probe. Now turn on your amplifier and your oscilloscope. The MFC immediately starts to shake providing data for the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope measures 3.3 volt output here in about 2.5 seconds time. This will vary based on the amplitude and frequency level you set. For this experiment we set the amplitude to level 5 and frequency to 20 Hz for best results. Now let us do the same experiment without using the shaker. Make sure the oscilloscope is on. Use your hand to bend the cantilever, which causes the MFC to strain and generate a DC output. The time the CL50 needs to activate the 3.3 output voltage is after 3.5 seconds. The more you bend the MFC, the more power it will generate. The on time can be calculated with this equation. Make sure to note that the enable pin starts at active high, not pulled to low. When pulled low, all the stored energy is transferred to the output until the internal accumulator is empty. The module starts collecting energy from the MFC when the enable pin is high. So in conclusion, as you can see from the videos shown on the last slides, the CL50 will enable a final output of 3.3 volts. Some final tips if you are having trouble getting results. If you can't get the desired voltage from the output, check if you have properly bonded the MFC to a structure, such as a cantilever. Check if the structure couples enough strain into the MFC. Thank you for watching the CL50 tutorial. If you have any questions or comments after watching this, feel free to contact us. We have two emails for your choosing. We have info at smart-material.com or support at smart-material.com. Our Facebook page is Smart Material USA. Our website is www.smart-material.com. And also check out our new MFC forum. It's www.macrofibercomposite.com.